Hi, and thanks for joining us for our class today. So today we're going to do a fairly tough workout. We're going to work throughout the body. So we're going to start in standing and warm up and then come down into four point kneeling. We're also going to work in high kneeling today just to give our glutes a bit of an extra challenge. And then we're going to come down onto our backs to continue from there. So I hope you enjoy the class. Remember, always go to a level that suits you because most importantly, we want you to enjoy it. All right, so when you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. So we're gonna bring our toes apart and those heels apart. So our feet are that hip width distance. And just to start with, we're gonna transfer that weight coming onto the front of your toes and then back onto your heels. So just forwards and back. And think about where that midpoint is between those two movements. So that weight's going nice and evenly down through your feet. Knees are soft, not locked back. Hands up onto your pelvis. Very gently, we're gonna tilt that pelvis forward and then tilting it back. So just a gentle movement forwards and back. And again, just look to find that midpoint between those two movements. So we're starting with that neutral position of that pelvis. That core's gently engaged, ribs soft, collarbones wide, and that neck nice and long and lifted, fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna start by just warming up through our feet and our ankles with some heel raises. So you can pop your hands onto your pelvis if you want to, and then we're gonna come up onto those toes and then slowly down. So we're just stretching through those feet and those toes. We're coming up and controlling down. So just working those calves and down. Good, coming up and slowly down and lower. Now we can just add in those arms, just lifting up and lowering with us, good. Nice and control, good, and down. Well done, just moving through, just warming up those legs. Good, we're gonna come up, just drop halfway down and then come back up. Drop halfway, good, and up. And again, drop down halfway, lifting up. Last time, drop halfway, and lifting up and then slowly lower back down, well done. So we're gonna bring our feet a little bit wider, so another hip width and just have those toes just fainting outwards. So we're gonna go into a side plie. So we're gonna drop down into this squat movement here and I'm gonna bring my arms forward and we're gonna do our arm openings, keeping this position. So breath in, as we breathe out, we're gonna reach around and back and forwards. Reaching back and forwards. So just rotating that upper back, reaching round, just looking round and back with your head just following that arm. Good. Reaching back, forwards. Good, and again. Reaching round and coming back. Lovely. Just going a little bit quicker than we do normally. Just opening out, reaching back. Lovely, one more each side. and then back, and we're gonna raise back up from here. Very good. Okay, so we're gonna just drop back down again from here. Keeping this position, I want you to raise one heel, lower down, then the opposite heel, and this time both heels up together. Good. So we're gonna do one heel, and the other heel, and then both together. Good. One heel, then the opposite heel, and both together. Good. One heel, opposite heel, both together, good, last few. Lifting, opposite side, and both together, good. Lifting, opposite side, and both together, good. One more time, lifting, opposite side, and both together. And we're gonna raise back up, very good, well done. Okay, so we're gonna bring those feet back to that hip with distance from here. We're gonna do a clam now. So I'm gonna show you a couple of options. We can just start with that toe just pivoting on the floor, having your hips pointing forward, and we're opening out and coming back from here. So this leg you're standing on is working hard to support you. We're just opening out through this hip and controlling back. Good, now if that's comfortable, we can bring our foot up onto our calf, and we're opening out and folding back. Good. So still breathing out as you open out, breathe in as you fold back, but just make sure you're not holding your breath, more importantly. So opening out, folding back. So a little bit of balance required when that foot's on that calf. Keeping up nice and tall, my core's still gently engaged. Opening and folding back, good. Just gonna do a few more here, keep that control. This leg's working hard to support you, well done. Opening back and controlling forwards, good. Well done. Opening back and controlling forwards, well done. 
So we're going to do one more here. And controlling back and then lower that leg down. Well done. Okay, so we're going to do the same on the other side. So just having that foot to start with, just pivoting on the floor. Pelvis nice and level. We're going to open out, control back. Good. Opening out through here, controlling back. Good. And back. Opening out, folding back. Well done. Controlling that movement. Well done. Now if that's comfortable, we can bring that leg up onto that calf and we're opening out, controlling back. So again, it's not a huge movement, keeping those hip bones pointing forwards, just opening out through that hip, I was keeping up nice and tall, well done. And still breathing, not holding your breath. So breathing out as you open your leg, breathing as you're folding back. Good. Do a few more here, this leg's working hard to support you. Excellent. Folding back, well done. Good, folding back, and again, and last time, opening out, and folding back, well done, relax that leg back down, very good. Okay, so feet back to that hip with distance, I'm going to reach my hands up towards the ceiling, just bring my hands together, I want you to turn around to that right side, and then we're going to drop down, and then come around in that circle, lifting back up to the ceiling, fantastic. Turning to the left this time, and then we're gonna drop down and rolling round, big circle back up to the ceiling, fantastic. Okay, so turning back to the right, dropping down, we're gonna roll around, lifting up, back to that ceiling, fantastic. Turning back to that left, drop down, and coming around, and then back up to that ceiling from here. Open those hands nice and wide. Fantastic, relax those shoulders. Okay, so we're going to do a few roll downs. So just keep keeping that core engaged. You take a breath in. As you breathe out, we're going to drop that chin down, just slowly rolling those hands down towards the floor. Take a breath at the end here. Then as you breathe out, gently restacking and peeling back up into standing. Good, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, suck that chin down, rolling those hands slowly down towards the floor. Breath in here. Then as you breathe out, just restacking, peeling that spine slowly back up into standing. Good. And again, breath in. As you breathe out, tucking that chin down, curling, rolling down towards the floor. Breath in at the end here. And as you breathe out, gently restacking back up into standing, fantastic. Now I'm gonna to come to the end of my mat, I'm gonna do one more, I'm gonna roll down into four point kneeling. So I'm gonna take a breath in, as you breathe out, tuck that chin down, just curling slowly down towards the floor here. Take a breath in, as you breathe out, just sink down that little bit further, and again, breath in, as you breathe out, sinking down, soften those knees, and then we're gonna walk our hands slowly down onto the mat, into this four point kneeling position and we're gonna continue our class here. Okay, so in this position, we're gonna go into our leg pulling prone, so sort of plank movement. So I want you just to have your hands just slightly in front of you, so another hand and a half in front of those shoulders. We're gonna tuck those toes under, we'll take a breath in here. As you breathe out, we're gonna lift up the knees and push forwards into that plank, breath in here to hold. And as you breathe out, lowering back down. Good, and again, breath in. As you breathe out, lift up, reach forwards. Breath in, and as you breathe out, lowering back down, very good. And again, breath in. As you breathe out, lift up, reach forwards. Breath in to hold here, and as you breathe out, lowering back down, well done, and again. Lift up, reach forwards, breath in here, and as you breathe out, lowering back down, well done. Okay, on this next one, if you can, we're gonna lift up, reach forwards, holding here, and then we're gonna raise one leg, Lower down, opposite leg, and again each side. Breath in to hold, and then lowering back down. Well done. And again, breath in here. As you breathe out, lift up, reach forwards, holding this position, and if we can, we're gonna add those leg raises. Good. And one more here. Breath in, hold, and as you breathe out, lowering back down. Well done, let's do one more of those, okay, breath in. 
as you breathe out, lift up, reach forwards, breath into hold here. And if you can, we're gonna add those leg raises. Good. And again, breath into hold. And as you breathe out, dropping down, well done. Let's have a quick stretch, just drop down. Open out those shoulders, drop that bottom down onto your heels, breath in. And out here, just sink down, that's it, lovely. One more time, breath in. And out, relaxing down, well done. And we're gonna come back up into that four point kneeling position. Okay, so this time hands underneath those shoulders, elbows soft, and knees are under those um, hips as well. Okay, so we're gonna start by just flexing the neck at the same time, bringing that knee inwards. And as we extend the leg, we're gonna lengthen that neck. Good, so we're gonna flex coming in and extend lengthening away. And we're just lengthening the neck, so that's going nice and long as we lengthen through that leg. Folding in, lengthening away, good. Breathing in as you fold in, breathing out as we lengthen away. Keeping that pelvis level, keeping that control through that center. Well done, good. Folding in, lengthening away, good. Reaching away, folding back, good. Let's do a few more here. Reaching away, good. One more. Now keeping that leg extended, we're gonna just bring it out to the side, so tapping to the side here. I'm gonna bring my hand behind my head and I'm just gonna open out that chest, rotating that upper body, bringing back that elbow in. Up and around, and then coming through and in. So just rotating through that upper back. Good. Coming down. Lovely. Last few here. Just opening out through that chest and stretching the upper back. Well done. Good. And let's do one more. Coming back to that center, bring that leg back round, fold that leg back in, fantastic. Okay, we're gonna do the same on the other side. So bring that neck under, flexing the knee, and then we're gonna reach, lengthening out. Flexing together, lengthening. Good, so remember flexing that neck and then just lengthening to that parallel with the floor position. Really feel that neck lengthen through the spine. Lengthening that leg, folding back in. Good. Reaching away, folding back. Well done. Really working those bottom muscles, lengthening that leg, but really thinking about keeping that stability through that center, keeping that pelvis level, tucking under, extending away. Well done. Last few. Good. Let's do one more. Tucking under, lengthening away. Now keeping that leg lengthened, we're gonna tap it out to the side. Bring it with my hand behind my head, and I'm gonna open out, and then coming round and back. Good, so just opening out through that chest, rotating through that upper spine. Good. Tucking under, opening out, reaching back. Well done. Good. Opening out here, coming through. Good. So just rotating through that upper back. Good. Lovely. Nice and controlled. Last couple here. Then one last time. And then bringing that down, bring that leg back around, folding in, and let's drop down into that nice shell stretch. Just to open up through that back. So reach those fingertips away, drop that bottom down onto your heels here, just sinking down. Nice breath in and out here, just relaxing down. Good breath in and out, sinking down, well done. And again, breath in and out relaxing down. 
well done one more breath in and out very good so we're going to come back up from here and I want you to reach one leg forwards and we're going to just open out and stretch through those hip flexors here so I just want you to lean forwards just opening out through that hip here very good on that side we're going to just reach this arm over just to really stretch that a little bit further well done breathing in and out just opening out through those hips well done breath in and out good and then just lifting back up do the same on the other side so we're going to switch around opposite leg forwards we're just going to drop forwards just really feel that stretch through there bring this arm over we're going to add a little side bend just to increase that stretch good through that side well done breath in and out sinking down well done breath in and out relaxing down lovely good holding that there and then we're just going to lift back up and dropping down well done so we're going to stick in kneeling so come around so you can see me here so we're going to come into high kneeling from here and we're going to really work our glutes with a side kick in this position so i'm going to bring my hands behind my head and with one arm i'm going to drop down and i'm going to reach my leg up level with that hip okay so we're going to glide the leg forward and gliding it back so point the toes to glide forward flex the foot to glide back good gliding forward gliding back very good so really challenging those glutes to keep this leg in this position but also working through that center to still keep that control good so glide forwards glide back still breathing in and out not holding your breath well done gliding forwards gliding back very good keep going here glide forwards glide back nice and control glide forwards glide back well done last few here glide forwards glide back good one more glide forwards glide back back to that center bring that leg back in and coming back up very good okay hands behind your head again we're going to reach the opposite arm down and reach that leg away very good so we're going to glide forwards and glide back if you can point those toes to glide forward flex the foot to glide back good gliding forwards gliding back keeping that control well done so we glide forwards glide back well done so really again working those glutes hard but actually you'll feel it really working on that leg that's on the ground as well just supporting and stabilizing you here good gliding forwards gliding back so an extra challenge this exercise well done glide forwards glide back last few glide forwards glide back one last time glide forwards glide back and then back to that center bring that leg in coming back up from there very good well done okay so from here we're going to come down onto our backs so coming round onto your back just slurring down just gonna have those knees bent up and let's just keeping those feet that hip width apart same as the knees and just starting finding that center so we're going to tilt that pelvis forwards and back and just looking to find that midpoint between those two movements so that pelvis in that nice neutral position good that core is gently engaged ribs are soft collarbones wide and that neck nice and long and lifted from here okay so we're going to float one leg at a time up into that double tabletop position still keeping that core engaged maintaining that neutral and i'm just going to open out into this hip twist movement and folding back up so breathe out as you open the leg out breathe in as you fold back now remember keeping those hip bones pointing up to the ceiling imagine you've got those headlights you don't want to roll or rotate you want to keep those headlights pointing up to the ceiling if you're finding that you've got too much movement happening there just make that movement a little bit smaller okay good opening out and folding back so we'll either stay here or if you want to we're going to float our hands up to the water ceiling and as we open our leg out we're going to open the opposite arm 
and fold back together. So opening opposite arm, opposite leg, folding back just as far as you can keep that control as we open the arm out each side. Good. So really focus is that stability through that center. Well done. Opening out, folding back, but keep those headlights pointing forwards. Good. Opening out, folding back. Good. Breathe out as you open, breathe in, folding back. Very good. And folding back. Just going to do a few more here. Good. Folding back, opening out, folding back, and back, well done. Lovely, let's do one more each side. And then coming back to that center, float those arms back down, and we're just gonna lower those feet back onto the mat, very good. Okay, so we're gonna go into our scissors movement now, just to move a little bit more through those hips. So again, we're gonna float both legs back up into double tabletop, keeping that core engaged, keeping that neutral position, and we're gonna tap the foot down and then lift back up. Opposite leg, tap down, lift up. Now keeping the knee at that 90 degree angle, so we're not letting that knee bend, we're lowering it down, tapping the foot, tapping and back up. So you wanna cheat a little bit to bend the knee because it makes it a little bit easier, so just try to watch for that. Now if you start to feel your back arching, or your tummy doming, we can just go into a single leg if that feels better. But for those of you that can, we're gonna come into double tabletop straight away and just tapping each side. Good. Breathing out as you tap down, breathe in to bring back up. Good. Nice and controlled. Now if that's feeling okay, we can increase the speed a little bit. So we breathe in for two and breathe out for two. Breathing in and out. Good, breathing in and out. So just keeping that control. Breathing in and out. Good, keeping that tummy engaged, tummy nice and flat. Making sure your pelvis isn't arching. Breathing in and out. Good, breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Good. And out. Good. Breathing in and out. Tapping, tapping. Well done. Breathing in and out. Good. Breathing in and out. Lovely. Let's do the last few. And out. One more breath in and out and then coming back up here lowering those legs down one at a time and then let's bring those knees in let's have a nice hug and stretch up through that back very good well done so breathing in and out here just relax down into that stretch just bring those knees in towards your chest just have a nice little stretch out here well done breath in and out relaxing down well done and again breath in and out Relaxing down, good. And again, breath in. And out. And relaxing those feet back down, well done, back to that start. Okay, so working a little bit harder through this core again, we're gonna just challenge that with a one leg stretch. So let's just start with a single leg just to really get that, um, that basis right and then we can move up. So we're gonna bring one leg up into single tabletop. We're gonna lengthen one leg away Folding back and lower back down. Opposite leg lifted. Reach the leg away. Folding back and lower down. Breathing out as we lengthen. Breathing in as you fold back. And again, breathing out as you lengthen. Breathing in as you fold back. Good. Reaching away. Breathing in and lower down. Good. Reaching away and lower back down. Good, now if that's comfortable, we can come both legs up into double tabletop, and then we're doing the same again, reaching away, folding back. Good, and folding back. So breathe out as you lengthen away, breathe in as you fold back. Well done. 
all the while keeping that control, not letting that pelvis tilt. We're maintaining that neutral position of that pelvis as we lengthen that leg away. Well done. Nice and control, folding out and folding back. Well done. So if you're feeling good, we're gonna add an extra challenge here. So either stick with it like this, or if you can, we're gonna lift our head into that abdo prep, just bring in the upper abdominals, hand on the knee, and we're gonna reach away and switch. So breathing in and out. So for about two cycles, we breathe in, and two, we're breathing out. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Good. If you can, we're just maintaining this abdo prep position. If that feels too much, you can lower that head. Breathing in and out. Still nice and controlled, not losing that control through that core. Well done. Breathing in, stretching that leg away. Well done. And out. Breathing in and out. Good. Breathing in and out. Good. Breath in and out. Breathing in and out. Lovely. One more. Breath in and out. Bring those legs back. Lower that head back down and lower those legs one at a time back to that start position. Okay. So we're going to bring in our ab abdominals, our obliques, one more time from here. So I'm going to bring my hands behind my head. Again, I'm going to lift my legs up into that double tabletop position. And we're just going to have a little side movement to bring in the oblique. So we're going to lift my head to that opposite knee and then lower back down. Then to that opposite side and lower down. So just a little side bend movement, a little side twist, but not too much. You're just looking to that opposite knee. So I'm just looking my eye line to that knee Lowering down, good. And lower. If you want to, as we lift up, we can extend the other leg, fold back. Extending, folding back, good. If that feels okay, but if that's too much, just stick with them in table tabletop. Good, reach away, lowering down. So just bringing those obliques in, working those abdominals a little bit here. Good, and lower. Just gonna do a few more here, and lower down. Very good, and lowering. Reaching, and lowering. Very good, last few. And let's do one more each side. And lowering that head back down, lowering those legs one at a time. And let's just bring those knees in. Let's have a quick hug and stretch that out. Well done. Breathing in and out here, just relaxing down into that stretch. Really good. Well done. Okay, so just lowering those legs back down one at a time. Just arms down by your side or out to the side. We were going to go into our rotation stretch from here. So we're going to drop our knees over, turn our head to the opposite side if you can. Using those toe muscles, bringing those knees back up to that center and then over to that opposite side. Good. Lifting back up and then dropping over, opening out. Good. And again, dropping those knees over, turning that head and then coming back up. Good. And again, dropping those knees over and then coming back up. Very good. Just enjoying that stretch, opening out through that spine. It feels nice to do. Use those toe muscles to bring those knees back up and then over to that opposite side. Well done. Drop those knees over, turning that head. And then coming back up and over to that opposite side. Well done. Dropping over, turning that head, last few here, and coming back up. Well done, then back to that center, bring those arms back down by your side, very good. 
Okay, so let's stretch out through our bottom muscles now. So we're gonna put one foot onto the opposite knee, allow that leg just to relax open there. If that's enough of a stretch, then just stay there. Or if you can, we're gonna bring the other leg up and towards you, just as far as you feel comfortable. And then we're gonna hold this stretch here. So we're just breathing in and out here. On that out breath, if you can, we're just sinking down into that stretch, just that little bit further, if you can. And we're holding this stretch, good. So breath in. And as you breathe out, relaxing down, good. Breath in. And as you breathe out, just sinking down that little bit further, if you can. Dropping into that stretch, well done, breath in. As you breathe out, relaxing down, well done. Good, and sinking down into that stretch, good. Well done, breath in. And out, relaxing down. Well done. And then just lowering that leg back down. We do the same on the other side, opposite foot onto the other knee. Allow that leg just to relax open there. If that's enough of a stretch, then just stay there. Or if you can, we're gonna bring the other leg up and towards you, just as far as you feel comfortable. Then we're gonna hold this stretch. So just breathing in and out on that out breath, if you can. We're just sinking down that little bit further into that stretch, if you can. Breathing in and out, dropping down. Just stretching through those glutes, well done. Good, just holding that there, no tension in that upper body. Just breathing in and out. And then lowering that leg back down, very good. And we're gonna stretch through the backs of our legs now. So we're gonna have our knee up to the ceiling, we're gonna lengthen through the back of the leg. Use your hand just to support that leg there, toes pointing up to the ceiling and we're just holding this stretch. So just again, breathing in and out, just lengthening through the back of that leg there, just supporting it with those hands, well done. And then if you can, we're gonna point and flex through the foot. So just moving through that ankle, we're pointing and flexing, well done. Just adding that ankle movement, changing that stretch slightly as we point and flex through there. Good. And then pointing those toes up to the ceiling again, holding that stretch, well done. Good. And then lowering that leg back down, excellent. Same on the other side, knee up to the ceiling, lengthen through the back of the leg, feeling that stretch through the back there, toes pointing up to the ceiling and holding this stretch, well done. Just breathing in and out as we're holding that there. Don't overstretch it, just go to where you're comfortable. Good. And then we're just gonna change the stretch slightly and just point and flex through the ankle. Just adding that little bit of ankle movement. Just pointing and flexing through that foot. Well done. Good. Pointing and flexing. Well done. And then holding that stretch again, toes pointing up to the ceiling, lengthening through the back of the leg there, well done. Just breathing in and out. So holding that stretch there, good. And then just lowering that leg back down, very good. And then we're gonna come round and up into sitting. Just to finish off with a few stretches here. Okay, so sitting with your legs crossed or legs out in front, however you're comfortable. Just relaxing those shoulders down, just making sure you're sitting nice and evenly through those sitting bones. So arms out in front, I'm gonna take a breath in. As we breathe out, we're gonna reach our arms up and then lower back down. Good, and again, reach those arms up and lower back down. Good, and again, reaching up and lowering down, good, and again, reach up and lower down. Good, and on this next one, we're gonna reach up, keep the arms there, bring those hands behind your head, and then just drop down to that side, drop to the other side, and reach up again, good. Drop the hands down, drop to the side, and the opposite side, and reach up, lovely, one last time, drop those hands down, reach to the side 
and to the opposite side. Good. Reaching up, lovely. Then bring those arms back down. We're gonna come wide with those hands and we're just gonna curl down, bring those hands together, flex that neck and then come up nice and tall. Good, and again, dropping down, flexing that spine and extending, coming up nice and tall, opening that chest, good. Dropping down and then extending nice and wide, lovely. One last time, dropping down and extending nice and wide, lovely. And bring those arms back down, relaxing those shoulders. Fantastic. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the class today. We've worked pretty hard, so well done. And hopefully see you again next time.